Hey everyone, another candid moment. I like to share a philosophy and life philosophy and fitness philosophy. They all tie in together to really drive overall success in life. The first thing I want to touch on is people fear fitness. People fear the whole topic of it and there are many reasons why that is. It's from the previous tries or attempts at getting into fitness, getting started, only to stop in that feeling of failure and it's a cyclical thing, it is a vicious cycle. We've all been there, I've been there. The thing that is most important here is to not be afraid of fitness. What matters is looking back at the things you have tried, dissecting what worked while you were doing it, but most importantly why it didn't stick or you didn't stay with it, the longevity wasn't there. Upon those reflections, you should be able to uncover some of the very important ingredients on an individual level of why fitness didn't stay the course for you. Moving forward from that topic is this, at Hybrid Strong, we really try to work with the mindset first. We really try to remove all the obstacles, whether it's you know the gym again, not to be redundant, whether we don't have equipment or the time, everything we do is really to eliminate those major concrete factors as to why people do not stay the course. So that being out of the way, if those things are taken away, the most important thing becomes the psychology, becomes the mindset of how you feel and perceive yourself in the process of your personal goals and the fitness and health status that you're looking for. That's why sometimes I feel the question, you know, fast forward 10 years, what do you want to look like and feel like and be like in 10 years from now? And you know, take the one example of, you know, doing something daily, which doesn't have to be always off the charts, off the hook, you know, super intense. Not every day is created equal, but something by definition again is truly something. And as you get more into that habit, it's a discipline. Then it becomes more automatic in getting that time in or that you clock that we always, you know, profess our mantra at Hybrid Strong. So once you create that mindset, then things just become a little bit easier. And then that fear of failure is not so looming or cumbersome and takes over. And then that's where those self-limiting thoughts start to occur. That's where the sabotage starts to occur. We start to fill our time with more distractions, even though it's like, oh, okay, well, it's only asking for 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Everybody has 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Especially if you don't have to go anywhere, you can do this in your garage, your backyard, whatnot. So the fearing fitness thing, because I've seen it over and over again, is because the idea of saying, you know what, I think I want to try this 30 day challenge, or I feel like trying this, this program, but you know, I'm not sure, or maybe I want to get into shape first. We hear a lot of these things as well. And those are just personal psychological obstacles that you are putting in the way of yourself versus saying, I'm going to align myself with the right people, the right product, the right environment, the right community that is going to make me feel that it is possible, which ultimately it is possible if you wanted enough. So the fear of fitness is largely due to thinking that you're not going to stick with it again, that you're not going to reach or attain the goals for your hard work or getting that wonderful return on your exercise investment, if you will. So to, to make this little candid moment a very big, uh, let's say, you know, impact and uh, something that is drives you home and that you marinate in a bit, we also can couple that with the overthinking. People are always overthinking it. It could be, oh, well, you know, uh, maybe next week or, uh, oh, I'm not ready yet or, you know, kids are going back to school, I'll start then. And then, uh, you know, then you'll, you know, find another excuse. And then you start thinking more and more and more about, you know, why you can't versus why you can. And one of the things we talk about or we try to get people to really sort of wrestle. We want to kill the animal of overthinking and create the animal of just think or not think, sorry, just do. Okay. You just do. And the more that you do something that works for you, in turn, you just end up automatically doing more of what's necessary to actually fight off that uh, fear of not being successful this time around. So anyway, not to be too long-winded, we really wanted to touch base on stop the overthinking, put you first, you can do the things that you want to do as far as training and fitness and come out being successful. As long as that you really look at what works for you, 
and what you should be surrounding yourself with. But first of all, it starts here. Because ultimately, as we always say at Hybrid Strong, the only thing that gets in the way of you, of you is ultimately you. So just want to give you guys something to think about because a large part of you know, us staying the course and continuing on our fitness journey is about how we think and feel and view ourselves and how we view fitness and how we view asking ourselves for a little more. Anyway, much love from the Hybrid Strong family. Keep you in mind, you clock is the only time. Cheers.